In this tutorial, we will learn mode method to identify the most frequently occurring values within a dataset. The mode can be used with both categorical and numerical data. We will learn about the dataframe.mode method in pandas. The mode method is used to find the most frequent value or values in each column or row of a dataframe. This differs from mean and median because there can be multiple modes if several values appear with the same frequency. Let's begin with the syntax. The mode method is written as dataframe.mode access equals zero, numeric underscore only equals false, drop n a equals true. Dataframe.mode is versatile and can be applied to both numeric and non-numeric columns, making it useful for identifying the most common values in a dataset. Now, let's understand its parameters. The first parameter, axis, determines whether you want to compute the mode along rows or columns. The default value is axis equals zero, which means it will calculate the mode for each column. If you set it to axis equals 1, the mode will be computed for each row. The next parameter is numeric underscore only. When set to true, the mode is calculated only for numeric columns, excluding non-numeric data types, such as strings and booleans. When set to false, which is the default, the mode will include all columns, both numeric and non-numeric. The third parameter is drop n a. By default, drop n a equals true, which means that NAN values are ignored during the calculation. If you set it to drop n a equals false, NAN values are considered as valid modes. In summary, the mode can return multiple values if several values occur with the same frequency. It works for both numeric and non-numeric data, such as strings and booleans. You can control whether or not missing data or NAN values are included in the calculation by adjusting the drop n a parameter. Let's create a data frame. We start by importing the necessary libraries. Here, pandas is imported as pd and numpy is imported as np. Next, we define the data that will be used to create the data frame. In this example, we have a dictionary with five key value pairs representing different columns in our data. Here's what each column represents. Math contains numeric values representing scores in the math subject. Science also contains numeric scores, but one value is missing, represented by np.nan to indicate a missing value. English is a non-numeric column containing string values, specifically letter grades. Boolean contains Boolean values which indicate true or false values. Date contains date values which are converted into a pandas datetime format using the pd.to underscore datetime function. In this case, the dates represent January 1st, 2024 for most rows and January 3rd, 2024 for one of the rows. Once the data is prepared, we create the data frame by passing the data dictionary to the pd.dataframe function. This creates a structured data frame where each key in the dictionary becomes a column and the corresponding list of values becomes the data for each row. Now, let's calculate the mode for this data frame using the default parameters df.modeAxis0. Here's what the output looks like. For the math column, the mode is 88, which occurs twice. In the science column, the mode is 85, which also appears twice. In the English column, the mode is the value A, as it occurs three times. For the Boolean column, the mode is true, since it appears three times. Lastly, in the date column, the mode is 1st January 2024, which appears three times. Now, we will run the df.mode function with the following parameters, axis 0 to calculate the mode along the columns and numeric underscore only equals true to exclude non-numeric columns. For the math column, the mode is 88, which appears twice. 
In the science column, the mode is 85, which also occurs twice. Since the specified numeric underscore only equals true, the non-numeric columns such as English, Boolean and date were ignored in this calculation. Now, let's calculate the mode along the columns using the axis equals zero parameter while also including any missing data with drop n a equals false. Here's how the output looks. In the math column, the mode is 88 as it appears twice. In the science column, since we use drop n a equals false, the mode is 85, which occurs twice, despite one missing value, nan. For the English column, the mode is a, as it appears three times, more frequently than other values. In the Boolean column, the mode is true, because it appears three times, compared to false. Lastly, in the date column, the mode is 1st January 2024, as this date appears three times in our dataset. By using the drop n a equals false option, we ensure that missing values are not included in our mode calculations. This helps us understand the frequency of non-missing values while still acknowledging the presence of NAN in the dataset.